If you turn the unit in heating, it blows cold air. If you turn the unit in cooling, it blows hot air. If you've got a Nest thermostat and your unit is doing this, then this is the way to fix it. Let me show you. So, had the homeowner reset their account and add their new product. They've got a Nest thermostat and when you go through the setup, it asks you, does your heat pump use an O-wire, common, or the B-wire? less common okay O is more common because it energizes the reverse valve in cooling so but we're using B and the problem was that it was set for O so now we should be good to go so your system is ready to test you can test it now or test it later from the settings test now so we got a heat pump with auxiliary heat and now we're gonna try heating before that indoor coil was cool, cold, and it was blowing cold air in the house. So, test. Thermostat will start in two minutes, 20 seconds. All right, let's go check it and make sure it's heating and I'll show you where that B wire, or the B terminal is, and the thermostat wires come into the unit from this thermostat to the outdoor heat pump but first see that orange wire going to the O slash B terminal let me show you that but first let me reset this all right there we go let's go outside so here is the package heat pump and here's the thermostat wires you can see that orange wire is going to the B terminal and you've either got a O it's labeled O or you've got a B, but you got to make sure you have it set correctly on your Nest thermostat or on your thermostat, and you've got to make sure it's wired in correctly. So what was happening is during the heating mode, this indoor coil was becoming co cold because it was staying in the cooling operation. So during heating, that indoor coil was cold. During the cooling mode, that indoor coal was hot. So now, and why was it, why was it doing that? Because of that reversing valve. Okay. So because we did not have it wired correctly on, on the Nest thermostat on the programming, we did not have it programmed correctly. If you have a Nest thermostat, make sure that you're also aware that there's something called heat pump lockout. And you can set a certain temperature for your heat pump to no longer operate and what will be displayed is alternate heating. So that is your auxiliary heat. And on Nest thermostat, sometimes a homeowner will turn their unit on heating or they'll have it on heating and they'll notice the outdoor fan isn't running and they'll go, what's going on? My unit's not working. But if you look where it says heating, if it's below a certain temperature and you have it set to where it'll lock the heat pump out, then your heat pump or outdoor unit won't be working. It'll just be your alternative source of heat which is your heat strips or your auxiliary heat and I'll show you what that is. That's the heat strips and that is the alternate source of heat. Whenever your heat pump's locked out that's what's uh, being used instead of the heat pump. We are definitely in the heating mode now so it is working correctly and I can actually feel this line right here this line should be warm because this goes to the indoor coil. Ooh, it's very warm. All right, I need to put this panel back on. Pressures look pretty good. This head pressure may be a little bit high, but it was super high. Why was it so high? Because I had this panel off. And with this panel on, air is pulling across that indoor coil and it's lowering this pressure. Well, with this panel off, then we're not pulling as much air across the indoor coil. And the indoor coil is hot during the heating mode. So you take that panel off, you're liable to have a head pressure that goes up here and then you've got a high pressure switch that would trip and cut the unit off. I'm gonna show you what we had to do to change that setting on the thermostat. Go ahead and show me what you gotta do there. So settings button. hit the settings button, scroll down here, hit remove thermostat, all right? So you remove the thermostat and then you added the thermostat back and then just reset your account correct all right perfect thanks 
So I'm going to show you right here. This is a list of commonly used thermostat terminal letters and their functions. You can see O is for cooling mode reversing valve. B is for heating mode reversing valve. So if your thermostat has O slash B, then there is a setting like the one that you saw earlier where you're going to choose whether or not it is energizing and cooling, which would be the O, or energizing and heating. For this particular unit, it was B and it was energizing and heating. So here is a picture of the reversing valve. A heat pump's reversing valve controls the direction of the refrigerant flow through the indoor and the outdoor coils. This is when the reversing valve is in the heating mode, right here, and then this is in the cooling mode. Take a moment, pause the video. If you'd like to know what book this is from, I'm gonna show you. This is a great book. It's called Modern Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. If you want this book, go down in the link in the description and check it out. There are units like Ream and Rudd that energize the reversing valve in the heating mode. And then there's units like American Standard Train Carrier that energize the reversing valve in the cooling mode. Knowing how to wire these systems up is very important. And homeowners that buy Nest thermostats that don't know how to set them up properly and don't know this information are easily going to make this mistake. And this is the call that I had from this homeowner. And it's not a typical call. It's not something you usually get for a technician. You automatically think it's wired correctly. It's been installed. But I ask questions like, hey, how long has this thermostat been here? And they say to me, well, it was installed almost a year ago or about a year ago. And they thought it was fine, but it wasn't. Even in the cooling uh, mode during the summer, which now it's winter, but it's been in the cooling mode during the winter and during the summer it was in the heating mode so I don't know how they didn't figure it out but they actually had somebody professional install this Nest thermostat and they didn't set it up correctly so the company that sent out that technician that technician did not know what to do so that's why a year later almost I'm here and I have this issue so I guess what I want to say is this is something that can happen and you never need to assume that the wiring is correct, the thermostat's programmed correctly, and some calls you're gonna go to and the problem is gonna be from somebody that was there before you and you're having to straighten out that mess that was created. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. It wasn't the typical service call, but it was a good one. And I hope that if you're a homeowner watching this, that you've learned what not to do. Don't try to set up your own thermostat. Make sure you hire a professional. If you have a Nest thermostat, then you know that if you're watching that screen, it says alternative heating and your outdoor unit, heat, if it's a heat pump, is not running and it's 10 degrees outside, that it may be locked out. Let me know if you have any questions. Questions can lead to content. So thank you so much for everybody that's watching the channel, for everybody that just shows me some support by being a member and by subscribing thank you so much if you need help with your project you need tech support you don't know the answer and you need somebody to give you the answer and it's HVAC related you know I'm here to help you all you have to do is click that join button become a member you can get access to my email my phone number just go check out the membership levels you've been watching HVAC tips for technicians slash homeowners I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.